This video is part of the course that is build reports with Jasper Reports, Java and Spring Boot. Link for this course is given in the description. Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will see what is parameter, what is field and what is variable in Jasper Reports. So to fill our report from our Java application, it is very important to understand what is parameter, field and variable in Jasper reports. If you have clear idea that what these three things and when to use, then it will be easy to fill your report from the Java application. So let's go one by one. So first is parameter. Okay. So let's go to our report. So if you remember, right, we have this text field. So say for example, we want to set students name over here. It can be type of string or maybe some numeric value you want to set. Okay, say for example, the roll number of student. Say for example, 1 or 101, 102, anything, right? Numeric value. So this is dynamic value you want to fill at runtime. But it's just one value for the particular report, right? It's dynamic value, obviously, but it's one single value for the particular report, right? So there we use parameter. So parameter is basically an input. Okay. This is an input you are providing for particular report. One value you are providing as part of the parameter that is your input to the Jasper report. And if you look at over here, okay, then parameter Jasper is representing with this one. Okay. Dollar P and then with the braces, what is the name of your parameter? Okay. So that we will see in the upcoming lectures. For now, you just need to understand that Jasper is just representing parameter with dollar $P sign. Okay. And for a single value, basically one value for the report, we go for parameter. Now let's come to field. So that is being indicated by dollar $F. Now let's go to report. So see here you will see dollar $F ID, first name, last name. So these are the fields. Okay. While we created this template, basically our first report, right? We created this fields. So here field is kind of similar to parameter, but what happens parameter is having one single value throughout the report. But in case of field, what happens on each iteration, the same field is having different value. Let's take an example to understand this. Say you have one student table. Okay and you have these columns in your SQL database for the student table. So what happens for the ID column on each row, you have different student ID, obviously, right? The column is same, but on each and every row, you have different value for the ID column. So what happens for the field on each iteration, it's keeping change the value. Okay. The field is same, but on each iteration, it is having different value. While in case of parameter, what happens? It's having one single value throughout the report. So what happens? Say, for example, you want to display tabular data, right? So say, for example, in Java, you have list of string, okay, any collection or maybe list of some POJO class, list of bin, okay? So there comes the idea of field because you have, say, for example, 10 rows, okay, 10 POJO class objects inside the list. So what happens? This ID field will change its value on each iteration. Same for another field, first name. Okay. So this is the difference. There is only slight difference between parameter and field. You need to understand parameter. You have one single value throughout the report while field will change its value on each and every iteration. Basically rows, you can say. Okay. So generally with uh, list type or connect collection type, we use fields. Now the next is variable. Okay. So that is being indicated by dollar V sign. So if you see in our report, okay, let me zoom it. So here you will see couple of variables defined by the Jasper report. Okay. You see dollar V, then this is the name of the variable. Okay. Inside the braces. See the same format dollar. F, this is field. This is the name of the field inside the braces. 
So there are a couple of inbuilt parameters and variables that Jasper Studio itself is providing. Okay, without we create it manually. We can also have our own parameters, fields and variables. So as we proceed further in the course, we will see that part as well. Okay, so in the outline, if you see. See, here you will see parameters. See, this is the inbuilt parameters that Jasper is providing. Okay. Now fields, it is not providing any inbuilt while we created this template. Okay. We created this fields if you remember. Okay. So this we created and that's why it's appearing over here. You can delete this as well and we can create it again as well. But as of now, we have created with template. So let it be like it. And in the later part of the course, we will create new field over here as well. Okay. You can create your own as well. See, create new, go properties. And this is the name of your field, which is appearing over here. You see, let me delete it. If you go first name properties, see, this is the first name. This is what appearing for your field. Same way it is providing some variables. See, this is the page number. This is the page count. So here in the bottom of the each and every page, say, for example, you want to display that this is the page one of total number of pages, say, for example, page one of one page two of two. Okay, let's have some clear idea. Let's go to preview. Okay. And let me zoom it some you will see in the bottom. See, it is creating page one of two. Okay. So this is how it will appear and you can go to next page as well over here page two of two it will appear. So this is you know inbuilt it is counting the variables. Okay, we are not defining right. So there are a couple of things or variables you can say that you know Jasper Studio it's itself is providing that do you want what is the number of page this is out of total number of pages. Do you want the total number of pages that you are creating with this report. So Jasper Studio is providing facility by having the variables that do you want to display the current page or do you want to you know display the total number of pages for your report then it is providing by having those variables okay those are in bit we don't need to count you know total number of pages that our report is having using this variable we can get it so variable is what happens we calculate it say for example okay let's take this column say for example this is the marks obtain column okay and for the particular student okay we are having five subjects that the student is learning so obviously over here we will have five rows right so those five rows we are displaying in the table now at the end okay for this i want to have total basically sum of this five subjects and marks obtain so for this kind of thing you know when you want to have sum or average you don't need to do it explicitly in your Java code. For that purpose, Jasper Studio is providing concept of variable. So here itself, we can do it. Okay, that we want some of this particular column. So that is very easy using the variable. Don't get much confused that how to use it and when to go for it. Okay, just have basic idea that what these three are in Jasper Studio. As we proceed further in the course, we will see uses of each of these three. So you will get clear idea that when to use parameter and how to use it and same for field and variable. But before moving ahead, it is very important to understand these three. Okay. And importantly, to understand difference between parameter and field. Okay. Don't get confused between these two. These are not same. So this is what parameter, field and variable in Jasper reports. If you like the video, then please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, like the video, do comment in the comment section and share with your friends. Do you want to create reports from your Java and Spring Boot application? If yes, then I'm having complete course that is build reports with Jasper reports, Java and Spring Boot. Let me show you the report that you will be able to create after completing this course. So this is basically a student report card and this is the report in the format of PDF. So in this course, you will learn how to have image in your report and how to have this kind of label in the report 
and text field. This value will come from your Java and Spring Boot application. You will learn how to have data in the table format and how to make sum of particular column values using Jasper variable. You will also learn to sort particular column values. You will learn how to have this kind of page footer where you can display current page out of total number of pages. Charts are very useful to summarize your data in the report. So in this course, you will learn how to have this kind of pie chart and 3D bar chart in your report. In this course, you will learn to export this kind of report in different formats like PDF, HTML and Microsoft Excel. You will learn to create this kind of report from your Java and Spring Boot application. So what are you waiting for? Link for the course is given in the description. Just click on that link and start creating reports from your Java and Spring Boot application. We'll see you in the another video. Till then, happy learning and happy coding.